Do you know that the oil and gas industry is one of the biggest industry by revenue globally? An offshore platform is one of the key assets. During the process of extracting the crude oil and natural gas, which is found under the seabed, no matter in the shallow or in the deep sea. For your information, there are various types of offshore platforms available all around the world, depending on where the crude oil and natural gas field is located. But all of them can be grouped into two types, which are the bottom supported or the floating offshore platforms. However, the crude oil and natural gas under the seabed will be depleted or no longer commercially available in one day. At this time, the offshore platform is no longer useful anymore. In order to minimize its environmental impacts, as well as to avoid obscuring the navigation of marine vessels, the offshore platform has to be removed from the site. As you may know, offshore platforms are one of the biggest structures that we have built, especially the bottom supported offshore platforms. So, to remove it from the site, we need a helping hand, the heavy lift vessels or HLVs for short. HLVs are like cranes floating on the water which can lift very heavy objects. In the removal of the bottom supported offshore platform, the platform's top sides can either be removed all at once or be removed in separate modules by the HLVs, while the jacket supporting the platform is cut and lifted as a whole or by section if the jacket is too large or heavy. However, HLVs are expensive and difficult to operate, which increases the cost and manpower of removing the offshore platform. So, here comes a question. Is there any other way to remove the jacket of the platform? The answer is yes. There is an alternative. A floating device named buoyancy bag can be used in the removal of a platform's jacket. This bag is like a balloon, can be inflated with air, and also can be filled with water. Multiple bags can be installed at the strategic location on the jacket with remotely operated vehicles or divers. Once these bags has been installed, they are inflated with compressed air. Like balloon filled with helium gas, the buoyancy bag filled with air will lift the jacket off the seabed. The jacket is then towed by towing ships to either onshore for recycling, reuse or disposal, or to another location for reefing. The number of buoyancy bags depends on how heavy the jacket is, since each buoyancy bag of the same size will always provide the same buoyant force. The reason I propose the use of buoyancy bags is because buoyancy bags are inexpensive to fabricate and maintain, since they can be manufactured with non-metallic material. Besides, buoyancy bags are portable even when inflated, compared to another device named buoyancy tank assemblies which has fixed size and made with metallic material. To determine the feasibility of the buoyancy bag in removing the jacket, first, we need to find the size of the buoyancy bag that can provide sufficient buoyant force to lift the jacket. This can be done with the use of the buoyancy calculator. The buoyancy calculator requires two parameters, which are buoyant force or weight of the jacket and the density of seawater. This will give a minimum total volume needed for the buoyancy bags, and hence its size can be determined. To ensure the calculation is correct, a simulation on the process will be done using a software named MOSSOS. MOSSOS is a software dedicated for offshore engineering simulation. The process will be repeated for different size of jackets, and the relationship between the size of jacket and buoyancy bags can be discussed with an equation. Hence, we can determine the optimum size of the buoyancy bags to lift the jacket. With the use of buoyancy bags, the removal cost of the jacket may be reduced. This has a potential of replacing HLVs in the jacket removal of an offshore platform, as the use of buoyancy bags in the removal of the platform's jacket are more sustainable compared to the use of HLVs. Besides, the deflated buoyancy bags only occupy a small space, hence it does not require a big vehicle to transport it to the beach and also to the offshore. This reduces the emission of carbon dioxide from the vehicles, including those from HLVs. In short, the buoyancy bags are cost-effective, lightweight, and environmentally friendly.